right, here we go. Goodbye, Shady Harbor. On a beautiful day, a little ahead of schedule. Yep. Bye, Shady Harbor. Thanks for all the memories. Very excited for our trip, our little vacation before the trip south. We didn't know what this journey had planned for us, but we were excited for the trip. Check this out right in the middle of the Hudson River. Huge tree with branches. doing really good going with the tide 2,000 rpm we're doing over nine miles an hour 9.3 miles an hour that's good well we're running with the tide right now so that makes a big difference but um see if we could stay with it as long as we can that's the Cooksackie municipal dock it looks like they had an overnight stay there that would be pretty neat if they allow overnight dockages. Catskill Mountains. Get to see some crazy looking ships up and down the river. Almost looks like a water park. So we're making really good time. Yes, I love it so much. It's been gorgeous. The sun is shining. Life is good. There's a seaplane landing right here oh. next to us. It's just touched the water. Is obviously practicing. He did that right in front of a big Coast Guard cutter. Splash there. Is that Coast Guard cutter that plane landed right in front of? Boy, you're gonna get hit with quite the wake from that Coast Guard cutter. Hold on. Wow, he really throws a wig. Oh. Let's go down and check the dinghy. Go ahead, Captain. After that big wake. Waters are nice and clear on the Hudson, which are nice. It'll be good for swimming over at Groton today or tomorrow for the weekend. The dinghy held on fine. after hours and hours underway like this it could get a little boring so uh, Bridget has some ideas to keep the boredom at bay and sort of stay in shape a little bit gonna give us a little demonstration yeah yeah so we thought of some ideas on how to keep our blood flowing Tommy did mention he doesn't like air squats but I think air squats are a good easy workout you know start your day with air yeah. squats the other thing I'm I trying to save my knee. You know, five rounds, you know, do some push-ups, do some air squats, do some reverse lunges, you know, maybe do some get on the ground, just some basic planks, some shoulder taps, uh, mountain climbers, you know, mountain get climbers. back up, do some balancing for our, you know, inner core, maybe whip that leg out if you want, you know. 
challenge, see who can. Wow, you're balancing a lot better. Can, well, you know, the boat, look, it's glass out there. Then maybe end it with a little cardio, some jabs. Oh, I like this. Yep. Yeah, yeah, a little fighting, a little rocky. Speed bag, you know, you can. A little karate do some kid, combos. a little rocky. Yeah. Nice. And then, you know, nice. repeat it. A couple rounds, 20 minutes of activity a day. I think it'll be a great idea. Excellent. All right. You I'll work it? on that. You I'm in it. In? Yeah, I'm in it. All right, I like it. Hi. So, if you're wondering what this little guy is. One of our friends at the marina had given it to us and it's called an idiot stick apparently and you can see it's red on one side green on the other and you put it it's a velcro here you switch it around depending on which side you need to have the red and green buoys so if your red right returned keep the red on the right and the green so you, you could always be reminded of it if you forget that's why they call it an idiot stick i guess but um here we go we're going to south on the Hudson so our red buoys are on the left on the port side and uh, this little gem has was given to us by Diane Grabo from the boat journey thank you Diane appreciate it and it's actual slate from Shady Harbor Marina in New York it says safe travels so thank you Bob and Diane for that and I got to give a little plug to uh, Diane's book waiting on a part she's not only an artist but an author, a published author. So these are all boating stories. So check that out. I think you get it on Amazon. So thanks, Diane. And we hope to see you guys soon down in Cape Coral of Florida or somewhere around. Gonna miss you guys. It's just an amazing day out here on the river. Beautiful blue skies. Water is calm. It's gotta be like 80 degrees out right now. Perfect weather. Bridget's out there taking the sun. The tide has since shifted from this morning and the tide now is coming at us. So we lost some speed. We're running uh, just over six knots over here. That's 7.2 miles an hour. So we did slow down a bit. So we made a lot of good time uh, with that tide this morning with us. So um, we were able to back it down a little bit. And uh, the plan is to anchor by Bear Mountain State Park tonight, right by Bear Mountain Bridge. It's a nice little protected cove anchorage that uh, many boats anchor in. Poughkeepsie. First bridge right here is the walkway over the Hudson, which is a walking path. Very long walking path. And up ahead is Shadows Marina that we did a video on when we visited there last year. If you want to check that out? Shadows Marina. Coming up on the Newburgh Beacon Bridge. We're passing the town of Newburgh. We got a really nice waterfront there. And then uh, around the mountain up ahead is uh, West Point. Then Bear Mountain, and we'll be dropping anchor. Got some sort of fog horn. Restaurant up back there, Billy 
Joe's Rib Works. Really fun place. A lot of outdoor tables, outdoor bars, two large outdoor bars. Uh, also indoor seating, but they have live music. Really casual place, a lot of fun. Coming up on Bannerman Castle. So, Bridge, what's the name of that castle? Bannerman. Bannerman? Yeah. <laughs> you had trouble with it the first time we were here. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Battleman? Bannerman. Bannerman. Bannerman Castle. Bannerman Castle. Bannerman. 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 Amazing views coming up on West Point. Okay, we're coming up on Constitution Point which is right across from West Point. It's a really tight bend right here in the river. You need to uh, be careful rounding that because it's sort of like a blind corner. If you cut it too close, there could be a boat coming around the other side of it. Here's West Point. That never gets old. Alright, next stop is Bear Mountain Bridge. Yes. And the end of our journey for today. It's been a really great day. Love being on the water with my captain. Alright, coming up on Bear Mountain Bridge. Alright, so the place we're going to drop anchor for the night, here's the Bear Mountain Bridge destination a purple line is our route so right here in this little cove here there's a shelf where you could anchor in uh, the water right around here and uh, you got a nice view of the bridge you can dingy the shore and if you watch one of our old videos we actually went hiking over at Bear Mountain State Park in the winter and we hiked down to the waterfront when the river was frozen. We'll link, link to that video. That was pretty neat, right at the foot of the bridge. And that's Bear Mountain right there. Trail. The Appalachian Trail actually crosses over this bridge and goes up that mountain and over the top of it. The Appalachian Trail is the trail that goes from Georgia to Maine, I believe. All right, we just set anchor over here by Bear Mountain. Had a little trouble getting the anchor to set. We're gonna have to keep an eye on it, on the anchor alarm. But here we go. We got the view of the Bear Mountain Bridge right behind us. We got the view of bridge right behind me, Bridget. And nice view all around. I just hope we don't drag anchor. We're a little close to the main channel, but uh, well out of the way of any traffic. We love it here. Yes, Bridget loves it here. All right, well, we'll see how it goes. You love it too. Oh yeah, I love it. Yep, I just get a little nervous. The, uh, this anchorage is tough to anchor in. It, it goes from like 100 feet to 6 feet. So you need to find a nice spot to set the anchor that's not too deep and is not going to swing you into the uh, shallows. So uh, I think we're pretty good here. We're between the shore and the green buoy. And right behind us over here, I'm not getting you dizzy. These are uh, train tracks and a train goes on that all night. So uh, it does make fun. quite a bit of noise. Yes, fun. it's fun. It wakes you up. So we'll see how this uh, goes. I'm gonna check the anchor and keep an eye on it. We may have to reset or move a location, but we are settled in. This uh, hopefully is gonna be where we stay for the rest of the night. Okay, as we're waiting for our steak to broil, to go over some of our stats for the day. Made myself a little uh, spreadsheet here. 
So let's see, from Shady Harbor Marina to Bear Mountain Bridge, traveled 10 hours today. We used 64 gallons of fuel, total of 84 miles traveled. Average speed, 8.4 miles per hour. Average miles per gallon, 1.31 miles per gallon. $384. Oh, yeah, today, yeah. Assuming $6 a gallon. Yeah. That way, around the hook there to Havistraw Bay and hopefully Panko Fuel that has some of the most affordable gas prices in the area. So with that, dinner time and uh, some relaxed time. Yes. So hopefully uh, our, our anchor stays put. We have two anchor alarms set and uh, what other alarm do I have set? Oh, the depth finder. So uh, our boat is actually in 50 feet of water right now, but our anchor is in 30 feet. So that's how quick it drops off. So that's it. So we'll be at it again, right, Bridget? We will, we will. Okay, here we go. More thanks of for a relaxing day thanks tomorrow. For, yes, definitely more relaxing. So looking forward to tomorrow. All right. All right, see you next time. Thanks for watching.